For seven years of my life, I grew up in the foster system. I had to leave my mom's house because of the decisions she made to stop being there for her children. At the time, it was just me, an eight-year-old girl, and my brother, an 11-year-old, severely autistic boy. One day, the police showed up at our house. They asked me a lot of questions and then told us I would be staying at my aunt's house with her three kids, and my brother would go to a home to support his needs. I stayed with my aunt and her cousins for a year and a half until one day my aunt told me to pack some clothes. I thought I was going to spend some time with my other aunt and cousins, so happily I went to pack some clothes, but once I was done, I went to the front room and my aunt told me and my cousin I was going away for some time. I didn't know what that meant, but we all cried and my caseworker showed up. My caseworker didn't tell me too much on our car right there, but for the most of the ride, I cried. Once we got there, I was greeted by someone I would soon look up to as a sister and by more people I would soon consider my family. I lived there for two and a half years. I wanted that to be my forever home, my forever family. But I found out my biological mom had another baby. He was only five months old and the state wanted us to be together forever. I moved in with him and his foster family. I watched him grow up, cry, fuss, change his diapers. I never thought I'd have a little brother, but there he was right before my eyes. I thought that was it for our foster placements, but I was wrong. Something didn't work in that home and we were moved after a year and a half of staying there. Now, we were with our very first white foster parent, a single mother with three cute but crazy kids. To say the least on that home, it didn't work and we left. On my last day of school, we were taken to our next foster home and our last one, thank you, Jesus. Another white family with four kids, a boy in the 11th grade, a girl going on ninth grade, another girl in the seventh grade, and another boy in like the fifth grade. And of course, two parents, a mom and a dad, and two lovely black dogs. Those people showed me and my brother so much love and care, even after our hearts were broken by so many people so many different times. I never had a father figure in my life, so when I got to this one, I didn't really know how it felt to have a father at all. December 31st, 2014, we were adopted by these people. Being here for two years now, I've received lots of love and crazy rules and groundings. I'm blessed to have a place to finally call home. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end.